Well, mates, the researcher told me to meet him at Thieves Haven in his last message. So wanting to know more about what is going on in these waters, I headed there, and this is what I found out. Oh, what a beautiful day for sailing. All right, let's find this researcher. He's been so elusive lately. Been sending me notes. Now he wants to meet here at Thieves Haven, which happens to be one of my favorite islands in the sea. So I, I don't mind at all. All right, let's, uh, let's drop the anchor here. Now he said to meet him here, but he didn't really say where to meet him. And well, I don't see anyone around. All right, let's uh, let's call out to him, researcher. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Ahoy, researcher, are you here, mate? Are you uh, are you over here? Where where are you hiding, Mister Researcher? I came a long way, all the way from plunder to Thieves Haven. Took me about two minutes of sailing on the seas. Don't see him over here on the rocks next to this creepy looking cave painting worshipping some false god. Look at here, mateys. We found a little note from the researcher. All right. All right. Let's read it. Curse Captain. I apologize for my absence, he says. I'm currently pursuing a lead, which, if true, may be a major game changer for our waters. In the meantime, I do have some new information and a theory for you. With the latest changes to the world, the Fort of the Damned made itself known to everyone on the seas. I was sailing around Crook's Hollow when I first noticed the wall of mist and fog, and upon breaking through the veil I was greeted by a ghastly sight. Old Boot Fort has been transformed into a ghostly apparition. The source is undoubtedly the ritual table in the middle of the fort, but it begs the question, who's behind all of this? Here's what's interesting. Our friends Stitcher Jim and the Masked Stranger have seemingly taken up residence on Castaway Isle. Jim seemed slightly on edge when I spoke with him and prior he was looking at the fort through his spyglass. I believe Jim and the Masked Stranger are behind the appearance of the new fort. I got curious and decided to make my way to the Sea Dog Tavern and to my surprise, Amaranta is back in her regular spot outside of the tavern. This is very peculiar given until now I thought she was the masked stranger, but she cannot be in two places at once. As it's still strange that she disappeared in the first place, I stand firm in my belief that she may be a secret twisted knife agent. And I now believe the masked stranger to be actually Wanda. Aye, it makes more sense now, given the various drawings found on I-13 that depict her hideout, as well as the secret rooms inside her hideout, it seems much more likely that she's pulling a lot of the strings here. It would also make sense that the stranger is silent and fully covered, as it would blow her cover as a skeleton. I suppose time will tell for certain. One final thing that I discovered was there seems to be some building going on over at Liar's Backbone. There seems to be some kind of door on the stone wall in the middle of the island. There's also a lever nearby as well, and I believe it's possible that there's something buried or hidden behind the wall. As you may know, we originally found Jim hiding on the island during the events of Forsaken Shores, and now it seems like we may have to return there eventually. This is all very strange, Cursed Captain, and I recommend that you go check out Liar's Backbone for yourself. Now with that being said, I believe we're going to see everything come together very soon. Everything still seems to be pointing to resurrection of Flameheart and a full scale war with his fleet, which could be the reason behind the many scattered rag and bone crates across the seas. The fort may be the key to raising that army. For now, I must go, Curse Captain. This lead I'm chasing is paramount to potential future events, and as soon as I find more information, I'll notify you. We shall meet soon.